to VGMA24. It's a fresh new season. It's a fresh new set. Yes, indeed. And it's definitely fresh content for you. My name is Crystal Kwame Ayi and I will be your host all throughout the season. Big thanks to our sponsors, Vodafone. Thank you so much for being a part of this and also to TV3 for partnering with us as we are live on TV3. We'll take a quick commercial break and when we get back, we get into the real business of Road to VGMA24. Leg out. So I'm joined here by two beautiful ladies, Darling and uh, Miss Flavor. How's it going, ladies? It's going wonderfully, thank Great. you. And they uh, present us with the Ladies Circle on CB3. Miss Flavor, um, who put together this for you tonight? So my gorgeous gown is by Epiphany. Epiphany is the one who hooked me up. My makeup, can I shout out my makeup artist? My makeup is also by Divine Cassie. Okay. You know what, let me, let me get in between the two of you uh, so we're able to have a better conversation. How about you? What inspired your look? What inspired my look? You know, I wanted something a little provocative. <laughs> really? I feel like it's 2023 and I love my body. I feel like this is an outfit that empowers me, so that's why I wore it. I see. How about you? What inspired, what inspired your look? Um, I would say a little bit of Kim Kardashian with the hair and whatnot. And um, Epiphany just hooked me up. He looked at me, decided that this will be the best thing to go with. Okay. I'm sure you've seen the nominees for Artists for the Year. Yes. Who is your money on? Black Sharif. Why? I feel like because he's done so much in such little time, I feel like he's inspiring for other artists that are starting out brand new. And I feel like it's just a, he's just a powerhouse, to be honest. That's what I feel like. Okay. And uh, Miss Flavor? I will, I will go with Kitty. I'm, a, I'm an all-time Kitty fan. And I feel like Kitty has worked hard in the Ghanaian music. You know, he's done so ama amazing. There we go again. He's done very well. He's done extremely well. And he deserves to win Artist of the Year this year. So, Kitty, you got my vote. All right. Go on and have a great night. Thank you so Good. much. Good. And we are back to Road to VGMA24, the show that brings you all the juice, all the buzz, the 411, everything you need to know about the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, and in fact, the 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards for that matter. Now, a while back, we brought you an early rollout of the nominees for the various categories all throughout the day. It was on a beautiful Saturday, I tell you. And at the end of the day, there was the nominees party, where literally all of the nominees for the various categories were announced. Now, we're going to bring you the top five. Yes, indeed. So you want to stay on and enjoy this replay. <laughs> Good evening to everyone. We are happy to collaborate with Charterhouse as well as Media Jan TV3 and all our esteemed patrons who continue to partner with us to award excellence in music. It's been amazing so far. If you're free, we can kick it. Meet me in the corner too, we can kick it. Started achieving my own goals in my APs, they can never play my hand cricket. Oh yeah, me mom be janga me yet. Oh yeah, ingo si se po be da sante le wo die. What's your name? Me me wa. 
our reputation would be at stake okay. and I don't think we'd want KPMG's reputation to be soiled in any way. So that was the nominees announcement party that happened a few weeks ago. And as always, after this announcement, there's so many, you know, comments, so many conversations around who should have been in there, who shouldn't have been, why was this person not in there? The conversations are endless and they're still ongoing today. So I have in studio two seasoned people to actually help us with the conversations, but I'll begin with none other than entertainment pundit. You know her, you've heard her name and her voice. Her name is Ria in hey, the building. Boo -boo. Hey, how's you? I was good. I was good. <laughs> but you look good as always. So I'm learning you. from you. Hey. The freshness, you have to transfer wow. some here. This is a Ghanaian thing because I see it on your side as well. Like a very fresh this one. You know, hey. like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, you'll be the chairman. Hey, wow. Now, let's, let's go. I'm a chairwoman because I'm sitting on the chair. Yeah. Hey, so you see my chairwoman. Come on, take it too. <laughs> no, but let's get into the nominations. I'm sure mm -hmm. you've also been in the mi middle of things. Yeah. Tell us about your general thoughts on um, the nominations. Generally, I think mm -hmm. everybody that has been nominated is deserving. Honestly, I think they are all deserving. If you look down from artists of the year mm -hmm. to gospel to all, I think all the artists that have been nominated really put in the work yeah. last year. Despite all controversy, I think they I deserve it. it. Mm. Is there anyone that you thought should have been in there that didn't make it? Hmm. I don't think so. You don't think so? I do not think wow. so. Wow. Why do I feel like you don't have favorites? <laughs> I do have favorites, mm -hmm. but I'll keep it to myself. Right. I don't want people to put me in trouble. Okay, <laughs> I get you, and that's fine. Can we go through some of the categories and let's see what you think about uh, you know, the nominees and perhaps who's taken it as well? Mm -hmm. So we have Best Gospel Song, so let's see in Donka with Final Say. I mean, she had a whole challenge with that. PSA mm -hmm. Esther with Wayemi Ye, Diana Hamilton with My Meditation, Joe Metal with Kadosh. We also had Perez Music with Hewale Lala, Bethel Revival, Quaff, Beatron, uh, Edwin Dadson, Tigbe Tigbe, Irabna with This Far, MOG Music with Mala. Hey. Hmm. Hey. Listen, <laughs> before, before um, PSA Esther's Wayemi Ye, Hewale Lala was my jam. Mm. I won't even lie. Mm. That song, uh, during my morning devotions, yeah. It, it used to give me goosebumps. Oh. Sometimes I'll cry. Oh. But yeah. And then um, PACS that comes yeah. with YMEA. Y -E so that one took over for you. <sighs> so you think that's taking it? And then, relax. Hey. <laughs> Joe Metal came to hit me with Kadosh. Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh. <laughs> so, and then um, MOG music. Yeah. That guy's voicing. No, no, he's, he's amazing. He's a powerful vocalist. <laughs> I, I give up. <laughs> You okay, see, I'm giving, one. I'm, you're giving one. You're giving me I, options. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Let's see if you can with this one, though. Vodafone, most popular song of the year. We have Camido's, Sugar Cane, Sarko Diaz, Country Sad, featuring Black Sharif. Black Sharif himself is there with Kweku the Traveler. Last Minute Again with Friday Night. Kelvin Boy with Down Flat. Jackie with Something Something. <laughs> Wendy Shea with Survivor. Kitty with Blessed, featuring Mavado. Stone Boy with Therapy. PAC Esther with Wayek Ye. Hey. Most popular song of the year. I've heard some say Camido is taking this one. Some have said Kelvin Boy is taking this one because literally their songs have been everywhere. Stone Boy also. Don't underrate Jackie. Honestly, there was the Jackie bit as well. Don't so, underrate Jackie because Jackie. Yes. Uh, and then Quick with the Traveler. Yes. Yes. Quick, quick we started the year with it. Quick with the Traveler. Um, um, uh, wasn't it the one uh, with DJ Khaled? Uh, I think that's the one yes, that got yes. the attention. DJ Khaled was jamming to it. Yes, and, 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 and he's literally got all the eyes. He's got plays on radio all across Listen, the world. Listen, yeah. Blacko, Blacko. <laughs> and he performed on BBC, one of the BBC shows. I think Stormzy was on it, mm -hmm. and then he came to perform. Mm. So that one, Countryside with... Sa yeah. A recent... But the landlord himself. <laughs> You feel me, Pam? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, the, I do. The landlord himself and um, last mid yeah. with fried come. Kiddy Mavado. Kiddy is in know, India. Say. Kiddy has got his in India. You know this? You, I mean, listen, so you can't pick, basically. No, I'm sorry. You can't say anyone. Mm -mm. Guys, it looks like you have to vote for your favorites. Yeah? Just <laughs> forgetting PSA Esther. PSA Esther, yeah. Miami, like every what? birthday party. That's true. Funeral. Outdooring. Out. Yes. This is everywhere. Yeah. I'm Weddings, sorry. yeah, hallelujah. All right, and finally, artist of the year. So, all of them come together at this point Black Sheriff, Stoneboy, Sarkodie, 
King Promise, Camido, Kiri, PSA, Esther, and Joe Metal. And you know, King Promise gave us some good music. Good, good music. Yeah, in the past year. Yes, and I mean, I'm not surprised about Sarkozy. Like, landlord, <laughs> get over it. Like, he's going to be he's there. He's going to be there, so yes. might as well. And um, Stone Boy. Stone Boy has some kind of mileage this time because... Mm -hmm. From Breakfast Club yeah. to um, his interview Hots. with Ebro mm -hmm. to um, listen, he he's he, he's there yeah. with his um, album listening uh, in in the U.S. with Def yeah. Jam. Yeah, and uh, he's making the moves. He's making the moves. Yeah. And then uh, I'm forced to root for PSA Esther too because she's the only woman in the category. That is isn't so she? true. Yes, yeah, she's she the is. only woman. So girl power, girl power. Girl so power. I was rooting <laughs> for her. And um, who else? Uh, There's Joe Metal. Joe Metal. He came in with the Kado. It looks like year after year we are seeing the strength of Joe Metal because he's Honestly. been consistent. Yeah, he very has. consistent. Yeah. So he also has the, his very cult fan base. Yeah. So I wouldn't put it past him. Black Sheriff. Uh, our <laughs> new, uh, our new almost almost landlord. landlord. Yeah. Uh, I saw that coming of, through. Black Sheriff owns the streets. Yeah. Black Sheriff owns the streets and you know when the streets have you the whole That's ghana it. the masses are we are ghana yeah. we the streets girls and boys we are, we are ghana so he's i, I wouldn't pa put it past him too so yeah i it's, do have i know and then there was camido also with sugarcane and all look, remixes with the different remix with, with the nigerian languages. guys different one thing, one thing I think um, made Camido <laughs> fall short a bit when uh -oh. it came to th that okay. category was that, um, you know, when they were having the TikTok challenges yes. to his music, most of the time they weren't singing his, his parts. parts. It was from Techno's part yeah. and Mayokun's part. So uh, uh, it didn't. It didn't. It. Yes, but mm. it's still, hey, the royalty still the, the song. Yeah, yeah. He's still the owner of the song. I think one reason too is because we had milked the first part yes. anyway. So it's yes. like now that he's given us another part to enjoy, mm. might as well go with it. But, but I, 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 he's still my guy. Yeah, I'm oh, still definitely. rooting for Top him boy. too. Yes. <laughs> so I'm All rooting right. for everybody in that category, honestly. Yeah. Honestly. We'll see who wins and it's up to you to vote. Now, I told you that we'll be having a conversation with another person, and he's right here, the head of public relations at Charter House. He's been all over speaking about the VGMA nominees, clearing the air, and you know what? At this point, we are going to answer a number of your questions. So, let's welcome Robert Clark. The man with the pink hair. <laughs> Yes, indeed, and the man with the red, now pink hair, <laughs> joins us. Brandon Rodeville, <laughs> Rodeville, Rodeville, because it's red. <laughs> <Where's> <laughs> <Rodeville? Stop>! Hey, <laughs> so the hair is nice. I have to say this every every year around this time, he colors it. Vodafone he's consistent red. with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I'm waiting for Vodafone. Your girlfriend too. must be very happy because you're consistent. Girlfriend, now nah, like, I'm consistent. This is wife. Hey. Well, hey, hello, hello. Thank you. I beg hey. your pardon. Um, <laughs> say it so that Vodafone can hear it. Like you know, Vodafone time for red? them to sign me up or something. Yeah, yeah. It's about for time. brand ambassador yeah, because about time. Yeah. it doesn't get better than this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it. But again, the brand is yours, so. Yeah, you know, anything yeah. red. So anybody who wants to associate, you've got something red. Shall we come back? We talk. Come through. Hey, <laughs> all right. We like that. So now, Robert, tell us, I think you've, you've faced the most heat around this time. Um, you know, I heard a little outburst. You know, people have talked about you. Your name has been in a lot of people's mouths as well for, you know, clarifying things and stuff. Tell me about, you know, your position at this point in time. What's the most basic thing you want to communicate to the audience with respect to nominees? Um, well, you can, you can call it heat, but it's not really heat. Mm. Anybody who understands um, customer service marketing, uh, one of the things you always want to do is to get in touch with the people that you're serving. And when you get in touch with them, the focus is to understand where they are, where they are from so you can you know, um, adjust what you're working on in such a way that it continues to serve them. Mm -hmm. You understand? So basically, that's one of the key things in this particular time. And it is an opportunity to be able to engage people and get feedback. And mm. when this particular feedback informs the reformation of the scheme or the necessary adjustments that are supposed to be done. So yes, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of explanation. And you have to meet people and you have to explain things over and over. So it's really time for education because right. everything we do, there's a reason behind, behind it. it. Yes, and it's not everything that we do that's out there in the public. Yeah. I do want to understand the modalities that went into um, this year's uh, nominees as well. Yeah, well, so nominees, well, what we mm -hmm. usually do is um, 
we call for entries so people make their submissions come through they give us all the information and actually one of the key reasons why we do the call for entries is for them to be able to give us um, the right to use their materials in terms of publicity for this particular um, scheme in terms of activities you're supposed to be doing so they do mm. that and then on the flip side what we also do immediately is to um, um, give mandate to our research team to begin their work yeah. so we gather information from different places we want information from the streaming platforms because it is one of the ways that people consume music and then we also go to other forms of music consumption yeah. so for example we go to the um the radio because that is one of the ways that people consume music then we go to the streets the streets you can break it down from the pubs the communities the church the weddings um the funerals whatsoever we also get information from all of these we also now engage people who play the music like um djs yeah. they certainly play the music they know the reactions that people yeah. give because one of the things you're looking at is songs that people are really excited about yeah. so they give us that kind of information and then they give it from across we have um some of the academy members who send information to us okay. based on that like we get to know who is performing well in whatever region there are songs that are banging in a particular region they, they are not even another, noticed in another region yeah. but you get all of that and you're able to even tell the original dominance of certain uh, certain songs Song. then you also now have uh, committees that come together to be able to give us their you know um, expect um, information and they have deliberations they also give us info and then at the end of the day all of these elements are ranked mm. all of these things are put together back end checks everything weighted mm. in certain cases ranked and then it's presented to the board the board will now look through the list and then they'll apply all the metrics that you have to apply. And at the end of the day, they'll cut down to whatever needs to be cut down. But obviously, before they do that, we have all the back end checks. Is this song eligible? Is it mm. not eligible? Mm -hmm. Who produced this? Are you mm. sure? That, you know, that kind of stuff. So we do it. Yeah. And then when you put all the elements together, at the end of the day, the board decides who gets nominated and we publicize that information. But yes, this particular year we did that and we added a one week window provisional because yeah. um, in the past we've had some issues where things that go out um, based on the knowledge or information that we have made the decisions on mm -hmm. um, uh, a bit faulty okay. what do I mean so there was a particular year for example where we had this we had an issue with the free year with her mm -hmm. and appear to why because appear to did the submission of the music because it's for him right. but yes. in terms of the credits he didn't acknowledge um, what's the, the name if, uh, no, no he I didn't have acknowledge appear to you, you understand? He so if he presented, yes, yes. okay. But uh, uh, Pietus was, was not acknowledged. Not acknowledged. Okay. So then, what it means is that we had the material that we had was incomplete because somebody had done some work and had not been acknowledged. Okay. So then we had to do that. But sometimes you never know this until it actually gets out to the public space. Right. Because you're uh, trusting that whoever is submitting information we'll is giving you, you the all the info. Yes. Right. So we had this one week window to be able to take care of things like this, uh, spelling cre um, um, mistakes, whatsoever, and all of that. And even if anybody by, on technical grounds needs not to be there, we needed all of that. And it's been overwhelming. Mm. People have engaged back and forth, submissions made here and there. And um, yeah, and we are addressing them. Now, yeah. some issues have come up, like, you know, a Ravna in New Artist, when she's been around for so long. And, you know, we still, some people still haven't understood how she falls under New Artist when she's not a New Artist. Mm -hmm. And I've heard of, you know, her being a New Artist or under that category because she has never been in the VGMAs before. Is that how it works? Don't people come up as New Artists on, in the scheme? yet they find themselves in other categories. How does this one work? Okay, so um, new artists is one of the most complicated categories that we have. Mm. As a matter of fact, even um, globally, it's one of the most complicated because of the word new. New, yes. Okay, so your, the new has to be operationally defined. So you need an operational definition to be able to qualify. Some people have got numerical limits. That basically says that if you have been, if your first established song and has been there for a particular period, mm -hmm. then it means um, if, 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 you, if you exceed a particular duration, that means you are not qualified. Or if you release, let's say, um, three albums, mm -hmm. then it, beyond the three albums, that's it. Or if you, you, know, you do 30 songs, then that's it. You can't be considered as a new, new okay. artist anymore. You understand? Yeah. yeah. And, and, but the reality is when we say new, what is what is what is new or what is a journey to somebody breaking through when it comes to music mm -hmm. you understand so i always say that let people replace the word new with breakthrough yeah. okay so replace the word new with breakthrough so what we are saying is that in this particular here who is broken through you understand yeah. so you can do your one your first album 
where you know go hit. Mm -hmm. And you are still struggling, and the people like that, they have done albums, they've done EP, yeah. nothing happened. They've been around for years. And, and they are still struggling, and they're not giving up. Then you do a second one, and then you're hoping that things will pick up, and they didn't pick up. You even featured some big act on it, but uh, you don't know go anywhere, because obviously, probably, the big act didn't even promote it. Yeah. And then you, ha you did all the work, and you're yeah. still working hard. And then you can do a third album, and then and you're then tired, and then you give up. And that's then you go and come and drop one single, and, they get and then the single... So that's how they fall in so that So at category. this point, you are still... What are you? You've been working. But what are you? You are okay. new to the scheme. So that our definition says re relatively new. Okay. You understand? Now, the, right. the word new is re means different things to different people. people. So for VGMA... It is new, new to the scheme. New. To new. The scheme. You okay. have arrived fresh. At least we've clarified that. we are working that. with that particular okay. thing. So yes, people may have known you, but, but. the level of... <laughs> the level we are talking about, the newness to, new the to the is scheme is what really uh, we are working with. All right, with, Robert. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to the next issue. Medical. Uh -huh. He says uh, he had to be in the run for Artist of the Year, but we don't see him on, on that list as well. He, um, he feels like yes he should have been on so 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 why 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 isn't he on what's what's your your take on that um oh well <laughs> some of these things i don't have i don't have an opinion yeah and it doesn't matter how i feel or what i think it's usually the decision yeah from the board angle so when 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 <laughs> yeah. when you um if you don't make the cuts you don't mm -hmm. you don't appear in it but it doesn't mean that you are not that good okay yeah so it's got nothing to do with how do I, feel, with I think Ria, yeah, just i want to hear your the, how the your scheme take. Uh, no well <laughs> We are entitled to our opinions, okay? Mm -hmm. And I, medical is a very, it's a hard-working artist. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't like, I, I was here when I was saying um, Stubborn Academy was one hit. Yeah. Okay, great song. Skits, funny skits came out of it. Uh, people even paired it to real life occurrences and all that. Um, as to if it is enough to gain him the title or the nomination mm -hmm. for um, Artist of the Year. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. But then it's good to have the confidence. He's confident within himself to say, I, I'm supposed to be part of Artist of the Year, and I, I admire him for that, mm. honestly. Mm. Now let's move on to the final one. This is another one that we wanted to speak of with regards to uh, the most popular song of the year. Uh, we had Fanoform fan versus Therapy, and we don't see... Uh, you know, why, you know, one should be there and another shouldn't. You know, this has been a conversation that has gone on. What's your, your take on this as well? Are you asking Ria? Asking I think I want to take Ria's first because... Okay, right. <laughs> Ria. I, I, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. But um, when you're considering um, most, pop most, that's most pop popular, popular song, song. Um, it's not only within the shores of Ghana. Mm -hmm. But outside, where, um, how the uh, song has been able to exceed the boundaries of Ghana to the rest of the world. In some cases, yes. In some cases, yes. In some okay. cases. So it yes. is not a conch. No, um, no, no. It's because it's you wait it. All right? So, yes. for example, there are so certain songs that can be so big in Ghana and certain songs that can be, mind, uh, like, are not too big in Ghana. Ghana but but out international there. Yeah, But it doesn't mean that at the end of the day we should give it to the song what, that's big exactly. out there. Exactly. It has to be, the presence More, must be felt in yes, Ghana. Ghana. But yeah. that, that's what I'm even trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, compared to, um, it, it's big in Ghana mm -hmm. and it's big internationally. So I think it's a 50-50. That's therapy. Yeah, therapy. Okay. That's what I, therapy was big in Ghana. Yes, when it, it came, was. everybody was jamming to it. I, I didn't hear one radio station that wasn't playing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it went um, international yeah. too. People were jamming to it internationally. So I think that gave it more leverage. Right. You know, over Faniform. Over Faniform, because Faniform, well, including in, the language, media. including the language barrier, which I don't think is. I don't think it's a barrier. I don't think it is. It could be. I'm just saying it could be. All right. Okay, we'll I'm, take your opinion. Yes, I'm th exactly my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it could be mm -hmm. because of the language barrier or even promotion. Did he promote, promote it, sorry, mm -hmm. internationally or it was just locally? Mm. It was a song that went viral yes, and it was it, all over social media. Social media. Turn, yes. But even with the um, 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 challenge, TikTok challenges and all that, I didn't see anybody internationally. Yeah. Normally, when even when it comes to Nigeria and other African countries, yeah. I didn't see people jump on the Faniform Challenge internationally. As, as, as you, okay. you know, if, I, I didn't. I think I don't think therapy had 
um, a challenge. Right. But it was just being played as background to other, okay. you know, people's kits, people's um, videos, okay. tutorial videos and all that. Okay. So I think that's what gave Stone Boy the, the, the bigger leverage. I think Let it's me put it very that way. well explained yeah. here then, yes. So let's um, sort this one out real quick. Which of the categories is your most challenging one? <laughs> Are you yes. Still asking? No, I'm, I'm asking both of you. Okay, so the first Most one, no, I just needed to kind of trash our stuff with respect to the funny form bits. Okay. Yeah, first of all, it sh there shouldn't be a comparison between the two of them, but I can understand that people think mm -hmm. that maybe funny form was very popular. So why is No, it no, no, it's not even about the song being popular. I'm wondering why they are comparing it with, um, you know, therapy. You know, because, um, yeah, where we sit, we have data that basically informs whatever decision we're supposed to be making. And we're supposed to be getting feedback also from all the regions and stuff like that. So clearly, there are some regions you know that Fundiform is big mm -hmm. in that particular region. Domination here, one, two, three. And then that's it. It doesn't cross. And there are some other country, uh, other regions you go, therapy has crossed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it may be loud in some regions. Very, very heavy here, this and that. But it's... You're looking at original dominance of some certain okay. songs. It doesn't even cross all the okay. way through, you know. And then when you look at the streams, suppose they don't say streams, that stream also counts, you know. So you're talking about streams, you're talking about airplay, you're talking about streets. So streets, stream, airplay. Is, it, is the song big? Yes, it's big. Was the song um, a candidate? Yes, it was a candidate. When you check all the elements that we consider, yes, in terms of airplay, in terms of um, even being loud on the, in the streets, lot. and then That's you go lot. to your streams, you add everything. At the end of the day, it didn't make the cut. Right. But it was so big that it was the reason why he, that he was nominated in into the new, the new artist. artist of the year. Okay. It just didn't make He's the cut him. under the uh, most popular, popular song, song of the year. But it was so big that it, it had to earn him okay. new artist of the year nomination. And that's why it's there. So it just think, didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a good explanation. And I believe if we, if, if we, even, even if we decide I want to go into detail, we wouldn't exhaust it at this point. But I think I'm very satisfied with the answer. So I, I believe that you are as well. And now you understand it. So our final question before we do go on a break. <laughs> our final question biggest uh, most in fact the toughest category of this year's vgmas looking at how keenly contested each of these these categories is we've had a little bit of a conversation around it which is your toughest category are you asking me as, I'm asking you, as robert i'm asking you as robert and i'm asking ria as ria as well okay real robert, quick robert's my opinion doesn't matter <laughs> let me just leave it as is maybe ria can speak me oh. I, I don't have an opinion on this you my opinion doesn't matter usually it's silent it's in mm. my head muted zilch toughest literally the toughest category well, we're not asking you to pick anyone i'm not asking you to uh, well the biggest category we mm -hmm. have is a new artist of the year and then that we have what most popular song of the year mm. you, you can go to the big when you go to the big categories you see the fight there <laughs> <laughs> all right robert is running away from it it's all good <laughs> ria yes, I toughest told, as i told you I, I i don't think there's a particular category that's a no-brainer mm. the every single artist has worked worked hard to attain that nomination so I, I i cannot pick one they are all very tough and it's all healthy competition so may the best man win or right. woman win or yes. woman win because yes. there are women in there yes, as well exactly all right now i think this has been a fruitful conversation honestly and we've cleared the air on a lot of issues as well so thank you so much uh, head of pr of charterhouse that's robert Kla, as well as ria entertainment pundit yes indeed she does a lot in the background as well <laughs> so it's been a pleasure having you on the show we'll take a quick commercial break it's still road to vgma 24 you can't miss this stay with us yeah uh, I'm on a mission for Hey, what's up? Hey, 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 yeah. Welcome, we're sauce, Lord Channel, my soul. Make it part till we fall, make it part till we fall. When I come, we're sauce, Lord Channel, my soul. I'm a swag, not shit. I'm a jelly from my tooth. I'm a body at it. Mitchell, put him sad, cost me joy, cost me. We just want to kill you, we don't want to trouble I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you Yeah, 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 I'm with you Let's see, we just have a custom Draw a custom, yeah We just want to kill you, we don't want to trouble I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you My brother, 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 my
Last year, my best performer was Geometra. So my best performance for last year was Kiddy's performance. Actually, I was rooting for Kiddy and he didn't disappoint me, surprise me. Black Sheriff coming to stage with the yellow dress, with the yellow cape. Best performer last year. I said go for Kiddy. Girls, girls wanna have fun. Throw their ass back. Machine gun. Machine gun. Did you know that you're beautiful? I was disappointed with how some of the artists were dressed, their costume. Then Kong Eugene disappointed me with what he was wearing. Yeah. Slow down now. Slow down now. Yeah. yeah. What were your mind? What were you find? What were you waiting for? Tell me it was a hold up. What's up, BGMA? Yes, indeed. We're gearing up towards the 24th edition of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. Again, big thanks to Vodafone as our headline sponsors and also to TV3 for partnering with us on this one. I've been here with my ABLE panel. Ria is in the building. Hey, Ria. That's it. And we now have a conversation with our artists. This will be our first highlight on the show. And she is none other than the, in fact, she's very decorated, okay, with regards to her career, the gospel musician with seven nominees in this one alone. Can we give it up for PACA Esther? Whoa. You are always giving us that pressure. <laughs> Not a fine woman, no. Fine really? girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ever young, ever thank beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And you're not looking bad yourself. Thank you so much. <laughs> How do you stay so fresh? Oh, it's by the grace of God and I eat well. Yeah. I will not say I rest because I don't rest. You don't, eh? Yeah. It's I a thing I hear with the gospel artists. Why don't you rest? Ah, it's like, you know, going here and then every day you have a program to attend. And, you know, going here, maybe you have about three or four programs a day. How can you rest? Wow. And you, you, you have to make sure that you, you attend all these ones. Yeah. Three or so, four? Three or four. Sometimes I perform three or four a in day. In a day. Yes. But, but what does it look like in an average week for you? Uh, let's say, in fact, our business uh, day is uh, like Saturday, Friday, Saturdays, and Sunday. Sundays. Like yeah. weddings. Yes, engagements. Birthdays. Programs, events, you know. Yeah. Interesting. And so that also means that you do a lot of rehearsals during the week? Um, yes. Yes. And, you know, you have another activities that you have to attend. You know, you'll be going for a friend, you know, for a friend this, a friend that. Maybe you have to go for <laughs> birthday, uh, parties. birthday parties. Oh, you my. You have to go radio interviews, mm. you know. I see. Ria, do you have any questions for us? Yes. Her? So, um, you, before, around the Mentias here mm. era, did you win an award or did, were you nominated for any awards around that time? Yes. Uh, uh, Mentias here, we got a nomination. Okay. On Gospel Song of the Year. Nice. Okay. And I think Gospel Songs, uh, Artist of the Year that time, I think, which is 2002. Yeah, that's a lot. But did you I win got, any? I didn't. Okay. So... You are you got nominated yes. around that time for I think two two yes. nominations I think two right two or three two or three yes and then you went on a hiatus mm -hmm. and now you are back mm -hmm. and it is five nominations seven. seven seven nominations Actually, after yeah. after Mentiasie I was still doing music yes mm. because after Mentiasie I came with uh, Ziba Beko mm. Mm. yes and you know, yes I remember knows Ziba Beko mm. uh, I came with. Uh, I do want some, mm. which is so crassini, people's favorites. Yes. I was still doing music. But, did but you it didn't give us the, the what, 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 what we had to get the award. Is that what it is? Anyway, that one, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, 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 no comment on that. Okay, one. so speaking in that regard, then, what do you think was different now? <laughs> because you just come back. That's right. Seven, yeah. back, to, to, back to back to back. I actually wanted to ask. Did you ever uh -huh. think, did yes. you perceive that, okay, I went on a break, uh -huh. now I'm coming back, and this coming back day, I'm coming I'm to like a can. scatter the place. <laughs> I'm coming like a can. I know, right? <laughs> did you ever think you know, that you were going to get to this height? I knew that Wayemiye song will go far. Mm. Yes, I knew that. Because the uh, kind of... Uh, the West, yeah. mm. the, you know, people call it emotional, but me, I don't call it emotional. Mm. I call it anointing. Mm. Mm. Yes. And, you know, sometimes, you know, 
uh, when you have been to some, some, I mean, some situation, yeah. and you are saying something about it, you know, you say it the way, it's like you know what you are saying. Yeah. Mm. And this song is my testimony, it's my life. Mm. So when I was singing that song, I put in all. Right. So the way the song, you know, I knew that definitely. Why I was going yeah. to break going, it through. That's I, right. I want to get into it even more because I think I want to really relate with that bit, the testimony aspect of it. Yes. What happened? You know, when I was growing, I, I you know, the family, my mother, mm -hmm. I realized that things were not going well with my mom. In fact, my, fa my father cried that he traveled without me knowing where he was mm, that time wow. because of hardship. Mm. It wasn't his intention that I'm running away from my people. Yeah. No, but, you know, uh, because of the hardship, it was too much. We do, we, we was, we, my father was doing farming. Mm. And that time, it came in the It's like, to be a say, or the Nsemuna, as or the Nsemuna, and Nante. It was hard. The life was tough. Wow. So, you know, as, as you are growing and you, you, you come out from this kind of family, you know that definitely things are going to be hard for you. Mm. So, me really sukuru, no, na, and I came to Kumasi. And when I saw my mother where she was living that time, no, you see, mm. I realized that uh, uh, life you know, is going to be tough mm. for me. So, I decided, you know, I will, I will not go into details because maybe. I will, I will be ste stepping on some, someone's toes. Mm. So I won't go that, that far. But what I will say is, things were tough mm. for my mother, my family. So growing up, no, I have been through a lot. Yeah. Yes. So the story was, re the song was really based on your growing up, yes. basically. And, and yes. tell us about, you know, the emotions that you went through yes. while you were recording. Take us into the studio at that point in time. Yes. What was the feeling like when you heard the, the beat, when you went behind the microphone? Tell mm. us about that. I was singing my heart. I was, it's like I was pouring my heart out. Mm. Mm. That I focus on what, 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 are, what has happened to me before. So I just, I just closed my eyes and I sing. Tetano, near Medi, dear Medi, any dear Messi, and then I remember those days, mm. something that happened. So, you know, it got to a time I, I feel like crying. Mm. So, if you are listening to Wayemi Ye yeah, song, you can hear there's the some emotions. Path, be yeah. on, man. You can feel that yeah. there is too much emotion out there. Yeah. Because I, I, at that time, I feel like, you know, crying. I sometimes sit down and listen to the song, and I even cry, oh, even now. It, it takes you yes. right back. <laughs> You experienced the first yes. hand. And you know, uh, even Nasi, Nasi, mm. who was the engineer, who did the Wayemi Ye song, yeah. him himself, because sometimes he would just off the machine, then sit down, then wow. he would just put his uh, head on the table, and then, PC, Wakama Sempa, in fact, you have taken me back. Then Obekasa, Obekasa said, I mean, what he has also been through. Mm -hmm. See, so I knew that this song, yeah this song will do something and after so you know? many years from 2002 yes. you're still doing yes. gospel yes. music yes i'm sure this is a question that's on many people's mm -hmm. minds you're mm -hmm. still doing this yes does it pay the bills does it pay yeah the bills? i will say god blessed mm. yes god bless because he has been helping me mm. sometimes you know somebody must just somebody will just call you and the, the person will say oh your song has blessed me mm. I got a testimony when I was praying through your song, mm -hmm. and this, this, this door opened for me. So they so give you money? They bless me. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, it's nice. Me. Your sisters are here. Your sisters are here. Your sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, it has been happening. Yes. So sometimes, no, I know my old say, you are not alone. Yeah. So, um, Comparing, you started in 2002, mm -hmm. yeah. okay, and now we are in 2023. Yeah. Yes. Still looking fresh enough. Thank but, you. But um, <laughs> I wanted to know, mm -hmm. between that time when mm -hmm. you were selling cassettes, yes. CDs, yes. and, you know, the pen drives and mm -hmm. all. Yes. Comparing to now where there's mm -hmm. Apple Music, mm -hmm. there's Boom Play. Yes, you and too. Uptown, everywhere. Yes. Yes. What's the difference? Are you, were you making money more back mm -hmm. then or the money is more now? If you ask me that one, I would say I prefer now. Oh, to hey. this. why? I prefer it because now on YouTube, 
mm -hmm. and you put your video out there, your works out there, I mean, it's paying. Mm. It's good. Oh, the money is good from oh, you too. I mean, you know, I want to ask how much. And I'm streaming too. I want to ask how much. How much have you been able to accumulate from YouTube? Mm -hmm. From YouTube. Uh, that one, I, I think my manager will answer hey. that one. Hey. 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 Oh my goodness. <laughs> Will your manager also answer which of the denominations you are taking? No, that one, I'll do it myself. You know that one, that one. You so, see, you have given the hard side you know, to the manager. <laughs> imagine that. We'll still get our numbers. Yes. We have to. Yes, we will. All right. So we have best gospel song. Yeah. We have best gospel artist, best yes. female vocalist, best yes. songwriter. You're literally taking them all. Best music video, mm. Vodafone, most popular song of the year, and artist mm. of the year. Mm. So let's start from best gospel song. Yes. You're taking that one. Oh, for you know, I will not sit down here and say I will mm. win, but I know that uh, you're confident. You know the thing, <laughs> <laughs> and you know the song. The, the song itself, you know, speaks for himself. Mm. So definitely, yeah. So you know you're taking that one. I will not say that. You not say that. Mm -hmm. Artist of the year, yes. though. Uh, though. Uh, you, you know, it, it, because that I've I've been nominated, mm -hmm. it means that I got a chance to win. Yeah. Yeah, so I will not be surprised. Mm. And yeah. I've, I've also noticed that um, mm. some of your colleagues in the same category yes. as you, in the gospel category, um, yes. Celestine Donko, yes. she's been out there rooting for you That's and right. all that. There have been a few others who've also said really That's good right. things about you. That's Even right. though they're same, in the same category as That's you. Right. What do you think accounts for this kind of support? Oh, in fact, I'm, even my, I'm surprised myself what I would say that. Thank you so much for that support that you are giving to me. Mm. In fact, mm. there are a lot of people, a lot of gospel who yeah. are also doing the same. But, you know, Kofi Donkone, Celestine, Thank you so much. Because I think, say, they saw what uh, I did. Yeah. Mm. I will not say I did. Through God. Yeah. Yes. They, they saw, I mean, my works. Yeah. That's why they are giving me that massive support. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, good. what has been your some of your challenges so far? Mm. Maybe in the industry and coming back. What has yes. been some of your challenges? Um, you know, back then, no, it was mm. a producer. That's that's what I was saying. Mm. And it has been me and my husband who has been doing this work. Yes. So, still, I know. Mm. What you say? Mm. Because sometimes in Penifoka and Yebu baby say. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. So sometimes you feel like you need support, you, you need yeah. hands that can, you know, help you. So that one has been my mind. My, my, oh, okay. Because I know, say, if I, I uh, producers or any... Uh, the monetary push. De, yes. Yeah. I can do more. Okay. Yeah. I okay. can do okay. more. So that is, that is what has been my challenge. And you know, one thing about uh, Ghana is that when they see you on, ah, PSA is everywhere, PSA is on TV, mm. I saw PSA star here, and then now social media, I saw PSA, the way she, she was dressing, I mean, the way she has, ah, what, what, dressing you know, always comes hey. in, you know, yeah. the, why yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> She's a, the PSA star is the richest gospel musician now. Wow, that's what people are saying, <laughs> oh, eh? Of course. Well, we receive it. So they, they will be calling you, PSA, can you please help me oh. with, uh, that's how it goes. You know, that one too. It's, it comes with its own challenge. Yes, yes, because they think say now no, you are rich yeah. because yeah. what because of what they see. Yes. they think so. I have to be rich so that I, you know, I can. You can help we others as well. It. Yes, we and bless others it. with it. <laughs> Indeed. Amen. And amen. <laughs> Tell us about you know any other things to be looking forward to this year. Any yes. other projects? Yes. What's going down? Definitely. You know, people has been asking, ah, why wouldn't you do? The last time when I was <laughs> I was doing my events, which yeah. is um, uh, last year, we did uh, we, we did a, a press soiree, you know, Ooh. and there's the musicians we we we, we did like uh, uh, all stars yes. on Wayemi mm. So people were just requesting, why don't you guys do Wayemi on all stars? And yeah. then, you know, so. We have decided to do that. Oh, and we have done that. Oh, that's, yes. that's awesome. We have I'm goosebumps. That. Yes, we have done oh, wow. that. It's so beautiful. So definitely, you know, from now up to, you know, and then uh, this month, probably by next month, they, yeah, we should definitely, have that. they should have Wayemi Ye All Stars. So yeah, who and who that. are on oh, yes. Yes. We have We have 
Sisi Chum on it. Wow. We have Ohima Mercy. Mm -hmm. We have um, um, Minister MOG. Yeah. We have Ooh. Kofi Pepra. <laughs> we have. Uh, Powerful singers. No, 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 no. I'm we already. <laughs> we have Celestine. Oh, my God. We have uh, Joyce Blessing. We have what? Kofi Pepra and PSC myself. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can tell this, this song is actually going to be about 30 minutes long. Oh, because yes. all the riffs and the runs That's and right. the yeah. signature <laughs> catch on the tunes. Oh, my goodness. Good enough for one full worship session. If yeah. that was the people that we, they were around on that time. Yeah. You know. Otherwise, we would have had more. Yes. Hey, come on. <laughs> all right. All right. Any word out to your fans? Yes. People listening? People oh. who love your music? Love you oh. so much? I love you guys. Oh. Love you so much. And thank you so much for the help. I mean, mm. I'm and now, by the grace of God, we got seven nominations. Please, please, make sure that you vote so that Wayemi Yi will win. It is not by PSA who is winning, no. But I want Wayemi Yi to win. If, if you are watching me and you know that God has, you know, done you so well, when you remember all the days yeah. where you used to sleep, it was even hard for you to get one meal in a day. But trust me, God has been so faithful. Now you have your own building sleeping comfortably in your house. It means God has made you well. Please make sure that you vote so that Wayemiye will win this year. Hey, and I know <laughs> that she definitely you know. is going to win. <laughs> now she knows definitely she's going to win. <laughs> As well, why don't you follow her on all socials? It's PSA Esther. Really simple. PSA Esther on all socials. Now, you know that's something that we have to do before Tell you leave. Right, you would have to sing for us. Okay. Definitely. I've been waiting for that part. Do you understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can do an auto version. Who? Maybe. Yeah, you. Who? Yeah, you right now. <laughs> Who? Yeah, you. <laughs> But we'll be singing to close. So I'd like you to know that this has been the Road to VGMA 24. Yes. It's PAC as Esther on this one. And it's been an interesting conversation. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. Also, thank you, Ria, for joining us. Yes, yes been fantastic. I catch it. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'd like to remind you as well that the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, the 24th edition, comes off on the 6th of May. So lock your cal calendars. It's 6th May 2023. You can't miss it at all. And you get to see the likes of PACA Esther as well. My and name Ria. is Crystal. And, and Ria, A -A -A. <laughs> My name is Crystal Kwame Ai, and I have been your host on today's show. Open to you, yes. Auntie PACA. Oh, Sing it away. Oh, oh, oh. I wish I could do this in English. But Biana ya dene ye. Ya ya bush, ya bunya ya bush, ya bunya. A hia wing, you know, sabro, a yung wound a brofaka. What is it? The brof a bed, a hia wing. A hia wing. A hia. My feet's not that good. Poverty doesn't kill. You see? I yell me up. I yell me up. This is what I'm talking about. Obey yo. Why me yo? Why me yo? Say a what? Now obey yo. San Kenya O sami sa no chire me kwaya Mi ya me busi e munye yi E radia ye mi yo San kenye radia Mon kano bro fwe O sami sa no shira ye ya If it is not God, I hold my hands and bless me Mi ya me busi e munye yi E radia ye mi yo Come on why me yeah I yeah me yeah me yeah 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 yeah